Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar entered the Well of Souls and spoke with Kaelin about truth, Elizabeth about love, and Mathis about courage. And now it's time to explore this cave with the, the creepy giant face head on top of it. And it looks a lot like the Sentinel, except it's got glowing green eyes. Okay. What's in here? Okay. Well, can't interact with this, whatever it is. May as well just move forward. Into webbing. Lots and lots of webbing. Indicating that... I guess nobody has been through here for quite some time. Nothing there, nothing there. I hear burning. Well, time to go through the door. Okay, well. So this is certainly something. Hmm. Hey there, Shamino. He looks okay. He looks fine. Nothing wrong at all. Huh? The door closed by itself. Okay, whatever. I guess we're in the Well of Souls and there are spirits flitting about or something. Right? Right. Okay, well, um, let's look around a little bit. What do we have here? A pedestal with a plaque for the Bell of Courage. A stand with a plaque for the Candle of Love. And a pedestal with a plaque for the Book of Truth. Hmm. Okay. And a book. Let's read it. Shamino's Journal. Avatar, I know that you are journeying even now to save Britannia. I'm about to embark on a spiritual journey to see if I may fathom what exactly the nature of our enemy is. This journey is a dangerous one, for it entails the separation of my spiritual self from my physical self. If something were to disrupt the delicate balance between these two selves, I might be unable to return. If this is the case, then you, my friend, must help me. For the ritual, you must have the Bell of Courage, the Book of Truth, and the Candle of Love. Only with these things will you be able to connect my two selves again. Before the ritual can be complete, you must remove the sacred fire that I have summoned to protect me. You must light the braziers in this chamber in order to release the barrier. It is then, and only then, that you will be able to complete the summoning ritual. After you have removed the barrier, place the bell, the book, and the candle on their correct stands. Use each of them and recite the mantra of spirituality. This will complete the ritual. Please hurry, Avatar. Our time is very short. Oh, Shamino, what have you gotten yourself into? And, and why not just... Recite the mantra of spirituality. Why not just put it here? Om. It's not that difficult, and it's not sacred knowledge or anything that people aren't allowed to have. I don't know. Well, he did say that step one is to ignite the braziers, and that should remove this protective fire barrier thing, and let us get on with the ritual, but seeing as how we currently only have the Candle of Love, we don't have the Book of Truth or the Bell of Courage, I'm just gonna leave the protective barrier up and uh, head out of here. There's really no sense in doing this halfway. And since it is a protective barrier, uh, I suppose 
removing it would just leave him vulnerable. I'm not sure to what, seeing as how the Guardian still managed to cast some kind of spell on him to keep his spirit from reaching his body again. Perhaps it's just to keep wandering spirits from messing with his body while it awaits reunification with his spirit. After all, if some mischievous ghost were to take a bowl of warm water and place Shamino's hand in it right now while we're away, uh, Shamino would soil himself, and then when the Avatar brings him back, Shamino would be quite cross with him for removing the barrier early. Now back out to the uh, real world. Alright, we're in the Temple of Souls again. It is time to exit, head back to what's left of Scara Bray, and from there we will need to continue the mission of gathering the Bell of Courage and the Book of Truth. And we will be doing them in that order. The Book of Truth uh, will not present a challenge at all. In fact, we could have had the Book of Truth long, long ago, I mean, back when we first finished up in Moonglow. But uh, the Avatar was a silly billy and didn't answer the Oracle's question correctly, so it uh, withheld the Book of Truth from him. But he'll have another chance now, because reasons. Uh, he'll get to May blessing. No. He'll get to answer the Oracle's question again now. And I forgot to look over here when we were exploring previously, and I missed this little spot. Hey there, dude. Duresh. That is a recycled name. Duresh was a gargoyle in Ambrosia that the Nameless One killed in order to steal the Boots of Levitation. And he's got a round shield, which is not quite as good as a kite shield. So, gonna leave that there. And we've got a halberd. And we can't move it. Can't interact with it. I think this was meant to be a weapon that the Avatar could equip and use. And it would be one of the best, um, I think, staff type weapons. Like the bladed staff, but unfortunately, it's uh, just not part of the game. Maybe you can cheat and get one or something, I don't know. Hello, Avatar, baby. Right, right, right. I'm, I'm working on it, man. But yeah, as far as playing the game without cheating, not going to be uh, able to get a halberd. And that's okay, because the Crook of Charming is far superior, in my opinion, anyway. Hey there, Raven. So, uh, there have been some developments. What can I help you with? If uh, you don't have the Candle of Love, you have an opportunity to ask her about it here, but since uh, we already picked that up, uh, we, we can't have that dialogue with her. But if we could, I, I went ahead and looked it up, uh, the Avatar would ask, you know, where is the Candle of Love? And Raven would say that uh, it is located in the northeast region of the Britannian continent. Look for the floating glaciers. The closest docks to the Abbey are located in Britain. That's real helpful. She's basically saying, let's go back to Britain, because yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, the, there's even a diary entry for it. The Avatar would end up writing, Raven said the candle is located in the northeast region of the Britannian continent and that I should look for the floating glaciers. Apparently, the closest docks to the Abbey are located in Britain. That's just a, a restating, I know. Well, uh, we know where the Book of Truth is, but... Hey, Raven, where is it? Duh. What do you know about the Book of Truth? I don't know very much about it. All I know is that it used to be housed in the Lyceum in Moonglow. Very helpful. 
Um, it, it, it still is. This one is a little more mysterious. We haven't seen uh, Serpent's Hold, which is where the Bell of Courage is. Do you know where Serpent's Hold is? I hear that Serpent's Hold is just southeast of Trinsic. Unfortunately, there is no dock nearby. You'll have to navigate there yourself. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, if uh, e even if you haven't gone sailing on your own to, to go look at treasure and what have you, the game forces you to navigate the boat now. This is, this is required, so you do have to do it. It's not just for funsies. Well, uh, yeah, we're, and that's what's happening now. So, <laughs> so uh, let's make the trip a little easier and have her at least get us to Trinsic. Could you sail me somewhere? Certainly. Where would you like to go? Trinsic. Now, because it's dark out, I am going to rest because we're, you know, we're going to unexplored territory. It might be nice to have the light out. I take you. Sh yeah, we've we've heard that proximity uh, dialogue before. What am I doing? That's the wrong way. This is the right way. I wanted to get to a bed. This is one of the few times that uh, the Avatar is rested somewhere and could see uh, out a window. Sort of. We do see the sky going by. We set sail at dawn. Looks like it's happening. There we are. Nice and bright. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. We'll be able to see where we're going. And that's, uh... You know, necessary. All right, let's uh, take control of the ship. And this part I, I don't get to control. Oh. All she did was kind of scooch it over a little bit. Thanks. Thanks, Raven. Leaving the rest to the Avatar. One thing that would help, though, and unfortunately it's foggy, but... Eh, what are you going to do? Whoa, whoa, no, no, that's not what I... Oh, okay, so... Interesting. Yeah, not what I not what I wanted. Well, either way, we ought to take a look at the map first. So we can see by the flashing red pin that we are... Uh, we're at Trinsic, uh, just east of it. It's kind of tight over here. Buccaneer's Den is very close by. But there is Serpent's Hold down there at... 105 south and zero west or so. It's it's that landmass that we have not seen. So let's head down there. We'll just be going southeast between the landmasses. So we are oriented southeast. And we should just be able to go at this point. I expect some pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, the rendering this far out really is... It just leaves something to be desired, that's for sure. Oh, don't want to hit that rock. Definitely don't want to hit that rock. Well, I think something's coming into view. 
out in the distance, just barely. That might be where we want to end up. We get a little closer and then take a look at the map. Because it's hard to say. Let's confirm. Yeah, it is. This is this is our destination. Not a whole lot going on here. We'll just uh Yeah, that works. And we can come back to the ship when we're done here. Just looking around first, as one does. Now, if we're looking southwest, right, so you can see that southwest of the flashing red pin is the, I guess, Trinsic Island or landmass or whatever we'd like to call that. And of course, we can't swim there because we will drown. The lurker will get you. It's not the lurker. We have to kill some crabs, though. Because they're, they're feeling a mite frisky. 76 coins. 79 coins. I am feeling a little bit of camera jank. There we go. Fixed. Lots of crabs here. Well, oh, that one uh, was not carrying any gold. That is a reasonable crab, I must say. 99. Maybe this one stole all of that one's money, I don't know. That's just a regular fishy, not a mean fishy. Hmm. There's something off in the distance there. But we're going to keep looking around. Got to be thorough. That was a pretty good jump. I'm yeah, not really seeing a lot of interest here so far. Just little sandbars and stuff. Yeah. Nothing going on, but... Must see everything. Must be sure. I'm quite sure. I wonder if these small bits are on the map. Not exactly. Not the, not the little ones. This one is. But there's also nothing here. Oh, maybe I've spoken too soon. Sounds like we upset um, a specter. Let's get the lightning sword. All right, problem solved. I'm going to put the black rock sword and the shield back on. And yeah, that was a another black potion for invisibility, but uh, we don't need it. Hey there, crab. You're dead. 85 coins. Now we are starting to see ruins. Oh, there's a mean fishy. Guess what? Oh, there are two of them. Okay. Um, well, I was, I'm trying to press T to target. There we are. Can I zap it from here? Wonderful. And now you. Oh, that uh, that blast illuminated something down there. That's kind of creepy, kind of ominous. Hmm. We'll we'll go down there in a bit. I don't know. I always get freaked out when I see something massive underwater. Like that, it's kind of, oh, what what is that? What's down there? <laughs> 
I don't know why we still have combat music. Um, because that crab doesn't seem interested in the avatar just yet, but... Well, it is now. We got different combat music. Hey there. You're dead. Money. 99 coins. And the combat music has stopped. And now we are on the large island. So we're, we're very much here at this point. Got some serpent wine. Yoink. Let's keep looking around. It's a bit overcast, isn't it? Well, that's nice. Don't have to bake in the hot, oppressive Britannian sun all day. Well, there's the ship in the distance. That's good. That is our ride out of here when we're done. Assuming we survive! I think we'll survive. Yeah, we got ruins here, so this is probably where Serpent's Hold was. It, it is. But I'm just looking over the whole island. Unfortunately, so far, for our efforts, all we've really gotten are, well, 95 coins and all the other coins that we've found, and a bottle of serpent wine, which, hey, I mean, I'm not going to ever turn down some serpent wine. Makes a great panic button. I wonder if we can reach that one. You're gonna drown the avatar? Uh, yep. Uh, Let's not do that. I think uh, we can see that there's nothing there. That that is sufficient. I'm I'm good with it. Well, we've still got a bunch of little islands to explore. Well, not a bunch. It looks like there's one more. That crab is occupying it currently. This is interesting. Huh. All right. Well, that is a statue that has fallen. Okay, we're... I hear a crab. I heard that. But where is it? Let's see if I can target it. Oh! Over there. Oh, and there's another specter, in fact. That's creepy. Just looming in the distance there. That's creepy. Uh, well, we don't need to go back and have another fight with, with that guy. We've already proven ourselves quite sufficiently. And... Yeah, did I already jump on this island and look around? I think I did, but... Okay. Good enough. Now we've got to do the thing. It's time to take a look at this. What do we have here? Go down a bit. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, there's a way deeper down right there. Looks like this was perhaps the top of a tower. Go back up for some air. And in fact, I'm going to head this way and save. Because this part... Uh... Yes, derp, indeed. Because this next part is kind of strange. And for that reason, I'm just going to go ahead and do it in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.